Hello, in this Actively Learn video, I'm going to show you how to import various types of content into Actively Learn. So in order to um, access this, you are going to go to My Imports, and then you can see um, where it says Add Content. If you click on that, you have a few different options here. You can import an internet article, a Google Doc, a PDF, you can create a quiz, or import a video. So for this video, I'm going to show you how to import an internet article, which I've already copied the link to that article. So I'm going to click on Import Internet Article. And here for URL, I'm going to right click and hit paste. And I'm going to paste in this article and then I'm going to select next. Now before I do that, you'll notice here it says you have two remaining imports this month. This limit will reset on October 31st. In the free account, you can import three total um, options like um, an article or a Google Doc or whatever. You have three per month. And so I've got two remaining. I'm going to go ahead and click next. And then it might take a minute, but it, it should populate. It will give me the title of my article and it also populates the author. And then I can select content type. So I'm going to select informational and then click done. Once that article has loaded, you will see it populate here in the imports. And so in order to edit this, you are actually going to click on the article and you will see that it pulls up the article almost identical to the way it looks on um, the actual website. So on the website, this is what it looks like. And then on um, Actively Learn, it looks like this. And so there are some differences, of course. It's not going to look exactly the same, but it looks pretty similar. Um, so you can add directions for students up here. Um, and then you can also add a pre-reading question. You have short answer, multiple choice, or poll options. And then, of course, anytime you do that, you want to make sure you click Save. Um, and then throughout the article itself, you would select a location um, in order to insert a question, a note, a link, or even to white out anything that's on the page. So that is how you will import um, content for your Actively Learn assignments. Thank you so much for watching.